Sunrisers Hyderabad became the second team to get eliminated from the playoffs race in IPL 2023 when they failed to chase down 189 against Gujarat Titans. Coming to Ahmedabad with just four wins from 11 games, the Sunrisers were in must-win territory. Three victories in their last three league games would have taken them to 14 points and kept their hopes alive. But that did not happen. Shubman Gill got 100 for Gujarat while batting first and Mohammad Shami broke the back of the Hyderabad batting inside the power play. Heinrich Klassen played a lone hand of 64 but could not stop his team from succumbing to a 34-run defeat. Hyderabad can reach a maximum of 12 points which will not be enough for qualification. To say that Hyderabad has had a disappointing season would be an understatement. They had looked like one of the strongest units on paper. But poor management, a factor synonymous with Hyderabad in the last couple of years, and constant chopping and changing with little clarity on the best 11 has meant that they have been eliminated with two matches to go. They now have an opportunity to build themselves up for the next season. Let's take a look at who should they look to stick with and who should they let go. Heinrich Klassen has been their best player this season by a fair distance. This is the first time he has got consistent opportunities in an IPL season and he has made the most of them. He should be the first overseas player in the team sheet for Hyderabad come next season. Abdul Samad has also been impressive with his finishing abilities. At 21, he is a long-term investment that Hyderabad should hold on to for as long as possible. Abhishek Sharma, who had a breakthrough season last year as an opener, has not left any impact on his batting due to regular changes to his batting position. Still, Hyderabad may consider giving him a run as an opener throughout the next season. Bhuvneshwar Kumar is an IPL legend, particularly in the power play. He has been quietly doing his job as the leader of the Hyderabad bowling attack. Mayank Markande was a revelation this season. With Washington Sundar not picking wickets, he stepped up as Hyderabad's lead spinner. He should continue in his role next season as well. However, Aidan Markram has had an extremely disappointing season, both as a leader and as a batter. While his role as a captain can be discussed, he remains a high-quality batter and Hyderabad should not part ways with him after one bad season. Even Umran Malik has blown more cold than hot this season. There is not much point in having an asset like that and benching him. If Hyderabad does not see him making the first 11, they might as well let him go. Harry Brook had a lot of hype around his IPL debut, but apart from 100, he has had a torrid season, a lot of which has been due to lack of clarity over his role. Unless Hyderabad can define a clear batting position, there is little point in keeping him in the reserves. Mayank Agarwal has been disappointing in the last couple of seasons and has a poor overall IPL record. In addition, Washington Sundar has not been able to do anything of note for Hyderabad with either bat or ball and is extremely injury prone. It makes little sense for Hyderabad to retain him. His services might be better used in some other team.